Hi guys, so today I thought I'd feel my March favourites and just show you a few of the products that I was really using a lot of in March and that I really loved and hopefully you'll like something um, but yeah I can't believe it's already March it feels like this year's gone super quick but let me start off with the beauty products that I've been loving first off I've been loving my um, Real Techniques brushes um, I got these from Boots but they've been like working really well and they've replaced a lot of my older brushes so I'm really happy I invested in these. I'll just get out a few and show you. So this is the core collection which is what I got. Um, and I think the brushes are really good because you can use them for lots of different purposes. On the back it's written what each brush is designed for but I think they're really good brushes for just various purposes. So you might use the um, buffing brush, you might use that to apply foundation as well as use it as a um, like to apply powder and yeah you can just multitask and use them for lots of different things which is what I really love because you get your money's worth um, but yeah I got those two packs and they've just been working really well so I just thought I'd share those also I've been loving this um, long lasting makeup fixer which is from collection 2000 and you just apply it at the end when you've finished applying all your makeup um, and it just gives a really dewy finish and it just helps everything kind of melt into the skin I guess but yeah this I've been really loving and it just really works well like even if you want to refresh your makeup um, if you're going out in the evening or you've been wearing your makeup like for quite a while and you just want to give it a bit of life this works really well so that's yeah the makeup fixer um, lipstick wise I've been loving this lipstick which is the Blaze 827 from Sleek and it's just like that sort of colour like um, a deep brown colour but um, it works really well when you want like a deep nude but also I've been using it as you can see it's got a bit of pink on top but I've been using it to tone down certain shades of lipstick like if I'm wearing a bright pink like this which is another one of my favourites and that is from NYC but yeah if I was wearing something like that and I just wanted to tone it down I would put something like that on top and it would just make it a bit more subtle so it's not as bright I've also been loving this um, lip gloss which is from Rimmel and it's the Moisture Renew lip gloss and it's just like that um, but I just love the finish that it leaves it's not too glossy and it's really thick and it just makes your lips look really amazing so sometimes I'll just and it has enough color to it so even if I use just this without lipstick it just still looks really nice so yeah I'm probably gonna see if they do this in other colors um because I wouldn't mind investing in another color but yeah it comes with collagen and it has vitamin A C and E and it's a cream lip gloss maybe that's why it's a bit thicker than regular lip gloss 
also I've been loving this liquid eyeliner which is from natural collection but um yeah it's the one I'm wearing at the moment but I don't know um there's obviously a lot more island eyeliners at present which have come about but um I don't know I really love liquid eyeliners and I think they're a classic so you've got to have a steady hand to apply them but yeah I'm just a big fan of liquid eyeliners I love the finish that they leave and this is a favorite of mine um, my last beauty favorite is this um, professional eyebrow pencil which is from Rimmel again and it's just got a brush at the end and I got it in the black brown colour and it's really good if you want to create a statement eyebrow um, I think I might also try the shade down because this was the darkest shade that they did which was the black brown but I think they had just the brown as well so I might try that as well and see because I think that will be really perfect for the summertime so I might try that as well and I'll see how I do with that but I think this is probably one of the best eyebrow pencils that I've used and it's really affordable I think it's like maybe $1.99 or $2.99 but yeah that's another beauty favourite Also, I've been loving this um, Natural Collection Sapphire um, Sea Minerals Body Cream, which is just like that. And it just smells amazing, which is what I love. It just smells like of the sea. Um, just, yeah, it just makes me think of being on holiday like summertime because it's so cold right now it's just really refreshing and it's really light um and this was actually a gift given to me and yeah I'm really glad I got it and I got I think a body spray as well to match it but it's just really nice I love the smell and I love the texture and it's just it's good you can use it as a hand cream um I don't like to use products on my face that have too many ingredients I guess I prefer to use more natural products on my face but this is good um to use occasionally I don't use this on a daily basis but I, when I do use it I love it um also another product I've been loving is um, my body brush and it's just perfect for if you want really smooth skin it's good for getting rid of um, dead skin cells and um, people always tell me I've got soft skin and they ask if I do anything particular like for my skin or but other than exercise which I think is really a must for you know good skin and just a good lifestyle the other thing I use is one of these just to exfoliate and just get rid of dead skin cells and just have really smooth soft skin so yeah that's definitely a beauty favorite um let me show you the more fashion based beauty items um first off is this kind of puffer jacket jacket I'll probably put it on now which I really love because it's shower proof and it's waterproof and um I've started going running again because the time like the clocks have changed and I can get up and go running early in the mornings now and this is a perfect jacket for when it's cold and you want to 
go out exercise or if you're just on the move and you just want a jacket that's practical but still stylish um this particular one is actually from next um but yeah a lot of shops do really cool puffer jackets i think they do a new version in red and another color but i think black goes with a lot of things and i'm quite colorful in how i dress so for an everyday jacket i would prefer something black because it'll go with everything but yeah this i love to wear when i've just got a busy day and i just want a practical jacket especially if you live in london you need a jacket which is practical because it tends to get quite rainy and the weather's quite unpredictable sometimes um so yeah been loving this jacket okay this is the bag I've been using lately I tend to change my bags like every week because I want them to last and just to look after them and I've got so many bags so yeah each week I tend to just use a new bag and just you know keep switching it up but I've been loving this bag simply because I've been quite busy lately and this has been a bag which I've just been dumping everything in it's quite a mess and it's quite heavy but I just love it but it's from TK Maxx and it's just like this at the front and it's got handles it's also got a long strap like that and then the back of it is red so it's literally half and half just like that but it's quite heavy I don't know what I've got in here but yeah literally I think if I want to go gym in the evenings or you know if I've got a, like a busy day I just throw everything in the bag and hope I haven't forgotten anything just to get me through the day but yeah this I'm really loving and I'm trying to see if there's a label on there but um no but it's just from TK Maxx I think it was on the website as well but um I'll try and link everything down below so I'll find out who designed the bag um so I've got two more products that I just want to share with you. Um, the first one is um, the Extra Virgin Olive Oil, which I've been using like on my skin and yeah, you can use it on your skin and hair, but it's really natural, 100% um, Extra Virgin Olive Oil. But yeah, my mum recommended this to me. We were out shopping and she said it's really good for the skin. And I've been using it and it's been working really well. And I love natural products. So this is definitely something I've been using. And it's really light on the skin because I thought it might be quite greasy or, you know. But it's been working really well. It's probably better to use in um, winter because your skin's probably a bit more dry because of the weather, cold weather. But I'm sure in the summertime, if you want like really amazing looking legs and skin, this is going to be perfect because it will give you a really glowy look and it's not greasy. Like if you rub it into your skin properly, it leaves a really good finish. Um... Oh, last thing I want to show you, it's probably a bit of an odd one, but I thought, you know, I'll show you anyway. Um, but one thing I've really been loving is carrots. So when it's cold, I just tend to have a bit more of an appetite. Um, and I'm just trying to be really healthy at the moment. So I've just been snacking a lot, like if I'm at home and I'm not doing a lot, I've just been snacking a lot on carrots and 
yeah or even if I'm out during the day rather than getting unhealthy snacks just been having my carrots um and yeah I thought I'd share that with you but um yeah and they've been I don't know if obviously they're good for you because they're natural and whatever else but um I have noticed like a lot of difference like with my skin and my metabolism as well and I don't know if it's to do with that but yeah I thought I'd share that with you but um yeah that's this is just a quick video I thought I'd share my March favourites can't believe it's March the year's gone so quick but at least we've got summer to look forward to at some point hopefully um yeah um so yeah if you've got any comments or you've got any questions leave a comment down below um hopefully you like the video and I'm not sure I'm trying not to um do too many hauls or too much shopping I'm trying to be sensible and tone that down because I think I've been shopping a bit too much lately so I'm probably not going to do too many hauls I'm just going to show you the things I've got but maybe I'll do like my monthly favourites and if I treat myself to a little something here and then I can share that with you rather than doing big hauls because I think I'm all geared up for summer and I've got all my winter bits so I don't really need any more shopping there's probably one or two things that I want to get but um, other than that I think I'm content with what I've got but yes guys thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye